Hi everyone, it's John with another podcast and I wanted to talk today about uh, joy and happiness and a contrast of inner joy versus or compared to outer joy. Um, inner joy is probably one of the hardest things we'll ever try and achieve or aim to achieve. So I don't like the word try, so let's aim to achieve it. And the reason for that is because we are in a world, an online world and an offline world that requires almost constant stimulation. So it could be um, a box set that we've got to watch on TV. It could be a streaming service that we've subscribed to. Uh, it could be going out with friends on, on a regular basis. It could be watching uh, football or other sports subscriptions that we've got with Sky. It could be traveling uh, all the time. Um, it could be playing video games. It could be having a gym subscription and going to that several days a week for several hours a week. It could be listening to music. Um, because these days you can listen to a YouTube playlist or you can do an iPod playlist or you can do a series of songs down on your phone. Whereas when I was a lot younger you had a turntable and you had a record and you placed that disc onto the turntable and you played it. You physically did something with it. Uh, and if you wanted to change to another record or another tune then you had to go through the same process again. Um, changing times. But stimulation nonetheless. The idea being that it would create inner joy, inner satisfaction. What about drugs? You could take weed or cannabis or cocaine or heroin and find inner joy that way. Or alcohol or nicotine or chocolate bars. This would create inner joy. But it'd be temporary. And that is the rub, isn't it? It's that's the problem. You're getting all these external things, you're putting them inside you whether it's going into your stomach or into your arm, into your blood veins or down your throat or through your ears or even through your eyes from what you're watching and it's external. It may create some level of inner joy but it won't be inner joy. Here's a challenge for you. Sit in a room on your own for 30 minutes to sit down, cross your legs, don't even try and meditate, just sit there and just be. That's tougher than you might think. It's difficult because it uh, requires discipline. And where do you get discipline from? Well, there may be external factors, but ultimately it comes from the self, the internal part of you. Um, hence why it's called self-discipline. Self-discipline requires a lot of different factors to come into play. But if you can manage them, then you will have some level of inner joy, something that you will have banked, something to draw on. And that means that the outer joy, the stuff that brings you joy and happiness and peace of mind from external sources, then integrate into your life in the right way. Now this could be family members, this could be a son and a daughter, a newborn perhaps, animals maybe, young pets, uh, your interactions with older members of your family, older generations that you go and visit uh, either a couple of times a week or on the weekend when you see them, friends that you haven't seen for a while, 
friends that you go out with on an intermittent basis or friends from abroad that you haven't seen for a while and then you travel there and you catch up with them? Maybe a long lost love or a long distance relationship that you're trying to nurture? These are external. But what happens is a lot of people make a slight error and they can make that external environment their internal one. They'll take it as like, well, this is what gives me inner joy. These things outside of me give me the inner joy. And there's nothing wrong with it. But you've got to be happy first. You've got to be centered first. You've got to have your own sense of balance. And I say that as someone that um, will work his whole life to achieve that. And so it's not to say that I'm already there and I, I already know everything about it. It's, it's a constant battle. But it's one that you enjoy engaging in. So therefore, you don't find it like a negative. You don't view it as a negative. But, you know, write them down. Write the things down on a piece of paper or do it on the spreadsheet about have a list of things that create internal joy for you and things that create external joy for you. And depending on where you are on your happiness and contentment scale, you might have to move one or two things out of one column or into another column you'll need to do some work on that and identify what makes you happy what makes you content what makes you satisfied what drives you because you know getting up in the morning and thinking well I have to go to work because I need to pay for bills that's one thing that will compel you to do something but is it a compelling enough reason is it long term what you want to do you want to do more than that don't you and it's not me filling you with silly dreams or anything that say hey you don't have to go to work tomorrow because i heard this on this podcast and now we can just work on our inner joy <laughs> it might not work out that way if you dropped everything tomorrow but if you start to integrate it if you start to think about how you can integrate this stuff um, and take actionable bite-sized steps to realize it then you're going to see some real results because often people want to see results more quickly and in particularly in today's world because we're all very much get it now do it now have it now consume it now we, we have those uh, tendencies because we have a lot available to us we don't have to wait for games to load up we don't have to wait next week for like the, the cliffhanger to be resolved on our favorite show we can tend to get them now and that may be a good thing or a bad thing but it is what we deal with in the current environment here in 2019 so give it some thought about what makes you happy what doesn't make you happy what you prepared to move around what you prepared to lose what you prepared to prioritize what you prepared to reduce as a priority in your life in order to get the harmony between what constitutes inner joy and external joy okay that's all for today i'm going to wrap it up and see you again next time thanks for listening